So in this video, I'm gonna show you my top go-to secrets when it comes to using a tripod and the certain tips and hacks that you should do when you're filming any kind of product reel, you wanna show off something, or just have something more interesting than just the boring, steady, stagnant shot. You see, when it comes to filming any sort of any professional looking type of videos, yes, when you have your subject or talent talking directly to the camera, you want it to be still on a tripod. But when it comes to any sort of B-roll shot or any sort of shot where you have something that's not moving, you need some kind of movement in the camera. In other words, you need to have a tripod. And these are my go-to things that I do when filming any sort of, you know, food shot, product shot, or some kind of moving shot. Because movement, the whole point of video is to have movement. If there's no movement, then you might as well just have a picture. So the first two types of movement when it comes to using tripods is that you have your left movement and your right movement. And it's pretty self-explanatory. All you do is you move your tripod left and right. And what you're trying to look for is you're trying to get that whatever your focus is on, whether that's your subject, your talent, your product, to either be straight in the middle or in the third of the image. So you want to move your tripod left into frame or right into frame. Pretty self-explanatory. And once you start getting the hang of moving your tripod left and right, the second technique is up and down. And yes, it's pretty self-explanatory. So just like the other one, what you wanna do is you wanna focus on moving your, your subject, product, whatever, into frame. So you wanna move it up and then down. As long as you know the product or your point of focus is in the rule of thirds, so it looks better for framing. So you wanna move up and then you wanna move down. So play with those two, you know, X, Y, X, across Y being up and down until you get the hang of those types of smooth shots. And the third thing is that once you start getting bored of those types of shots and moving left and right, up and down, you can play around with it a little bit and try a bit of both, maybe going diagonally. So that eventually you move in a diagonal and then your product is in, you know, the rule of thirds into the so it's better framing and for this video i use the coffee cup for an example my fourth type of secret hack or technique that i use when i film product shots with my tripod is what i like to call the cinematic zoom in you don't want to use this too much but recently i've messed around with it and it's pretty simple all you need is a tripod you don't need a ten dollar one or a hundred dollar one all you need is some sort of tripod and what you do is you make sure your two legs of your tripod are in the front. And what you want to do is you, you want to grab the hind leg and pull it slowly so that it, it kind of just gives it that little steady close in zoom. And then you pull away. So essentially you have two shots. You have one going towards the object and it's out of focus and you can pull it back. And I've used that for product shots and any kind of showcase, whether that's some kind of food, some kind of, you know, product review demo reel. Though that is one of my go-tos, but you don't want to overdo it because it looks a little tacky if you overdo it. I would say and use it once or twice, an entire showcase type of video. And just for a little fun and tidbit, if you want to ever film like a music video or some kind of like the cinematic style where it's like a selfie, then what you do is you grab your leg of your tripod, put it straight against your gut, or you can have it in the loop of your belt. Have the camera point towards you, focus in, and essentially you have like a first person type of like cinematic movie where you move around and everything else around you is shaky, but the subject is not. And my name is Peter, and those are some of my go-to personally that I use for any type of cinematic shots, product shots, client shots that I use. And I'll see you in the next one.